Hey, good morning everybody, Sarasota Tim. How are you 100,000 beautiful souls doing this morning? Look what I'm out here doing, that's right. Get out there and enjoy uh, this morning and do what I'm doing, get you some steps in. Uh, Miss T is dragging me up and down this road. We're trying to get our 10,000 steps a day. We take two or three sessions to do it. Uh, this is our first session. I got the wind blowing really hard right in my face, but I've got my mic on for you guys. And it's behind my shirt, acting as a little uh, wind, wind resistance. I think it works pretty good. Anyway, we are going up a hill. We're in 6,000 feet. We just began our walk this morning. We got 10,000 in yesterday. That's about five miles, about 2,000 steps a mile. So if I were to walk, say, 10,000 steps every day, and we used to walk that, on average, we would walk more. But if you could average five miles a day walking and a month went by and you looked on your iPhone or your app that you have that tracks your steps or whatever you, you, know, you use, and you saw that you walked five miles <laughs> every day for a month, you're gonna see something. So, if you don't feel like going to a gym and pushing up some weights, which is I need to do, I miss my gym. I'm, my arms are soft. I've lost a lot. I need to, I bounce back pretty fast. 68 huh? 68 huh? 68 degrees. I still can't hear you. 68 degrees. 68? Yeah. Oh gosh. You know I can't hear folks. Tammy's telling me that we're walking. Look, she got jackets on in Utah. Fourth of July. <laughs> Fourth of July week. She is a cold-blooded woman. Hey, she's wearing some shoes today. Anyway, uh, beautiful 68 degrees with a nice breeze uh, coming in. But yeah, if you get out and walk and do your steps, the reason I'm saying this is my demographics are generally my age, a little older, a little younger. And it's very important that we uh, keep our health as best we can. You still never know, nobody's promised tomorrow. So I'll show you what we're looking at here. We've been walking this road every morning for a couple of few mornings now. We walked Walmart last night on our final session. You can choose an area during the day to go out at a time. And I also pick shaded areas. Yesterday, our first session was in the mall uh, down in um, St. George because it was 102 degrees. So. Really? Guy doing 90 miles an hour on this road. I think that we want to walk against traffic because they can come up on us. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful mountain here. The RV park is the uh, area right here on the right. And I, I don't know if they own that or not, but it's a, uh, a storage uh, area here with RVs and little storage units. And I see some bigger garage doors over here for larger storage. So new, uh, new Harmony here on exit 42 uh, at the orchards has got it going on. Look at the scenery here. This is absolutely incredible. Zoom in for you a little bit. You know, you start to take it for granted uh, when you stay here for a while or you live here, then you go somewhere else and you don't have these mountains and this blue sky every day. You don't even think about checking the weather. You don't even concern yourself. Like in Florida, we would always like, is it gonna rain today? Will the thunderstorm start at three or four o'clock? Lightning? Is there a hurricane coming? <laughs> You don't worry about any of that here. Uh, the only thing you gotta worry about is how hot it might get in certain parts of the desert. Make sure you always have water and emergency uh, things you need in your car in case you break down. Definitely wanna have water. But if you're near you know, a city like we are, you don't have to be too concerned about that. But certainly there's a lot of stretches like between here and Vegas, if you were to break down, you better have some water with you. Yep. So there's a storage uh, place here. 
That big old Airstream looks like it might have a flat tire or something. It's kind of leaning. This guy's got his tire covers on the uh, tires there. I need to put mine on. And then there's the park. We're all the way in the very back row up against the freeway. I can see mine. You can't. But I know which one's mine. All of the uh, ones you're looking at here in the front and the row after are all pull-through sites. <clears throat> and uh, they run a little bit more money, obviously, as all campgrounds charge more for those. I'm in a back, at, back end site. That's the great thing about having the size RV I have. Now this guy over here, he could back that camper in, but he paid a little extra because maybe he didn't want to be up against the freeway. And that Astoria. And I noticed this morning, two or three pulling out. Like I say, they, uh, this is a great place to, to kick it for the night or two and then move on to your you know, final destination. Right off the freeway, you get tired, you're ready to um, chill out. All you gotta do is make your reservation in advance. They got the uh, night drop off uh, information to how to get in and they'll take your credit card and you just roll in, they give you your site number, plug in, turn the water on, get in there and relax, watch a little TV, take your shower, go to bed, get up, fold everything up, and move on down the road. You had a nice experience right here at the orchard. Uh, in my case, <laughs> I love it. I'm just sitting here, with everything all set up for like a month. And I come and go, go down to St. George, go up to Cedar City, play some golf, enjoy this weather every morning and night because I'm sleeping and staying right here at 6,000 feet. And uh, I couldn't be happier, especially during this month of July. So anyway, we're going to get some more steps in here. And then uh, Miss T is going to get ready and we're going to go do something else, bring you guys some more content. And I got something I want to share with you. Something uh, that's going to be happening this week. If Miss T lets me spill the beans, we'll find out. Crush it! <laughs>